The UA receives an exciting gift. And the UA Science Department is developing a cancer research breakthrough. All this and Alex Budish with your update on Wildcat Sports. It's Tuesday, April 13th, and your Daily Dose starts now. Good evening, Arizona. I'm Maddie Rundin. And I'm Kendra Countryman. Tucsonans Cole and Jeannie Davis have generously given the UA Athletics Department a $2.65 million gift. The money will go towards the ongoing project in the Richard Jefferson gym Gymnasium. Right now, locker rooms and a new weight room are being built for UA volleyball and basketball players. It was also announced Monday that UA basketball coach Sean Miller and his wife Amy will donate an additional $250,000. The new additions to RJ Gym are giving coaches extra excitement because the new equipment will be critical in impressing incoming recruits. Well, we all know that import, how Im important re impressing recruits is. <laughs> yes, it is very important. <laughs> if I can get my words. All right. <laughs> Some more good news coming for the University of Arizona Science Department. Dr. Emmanuel Katsanis, a professor in the University of Arizona College of Medicine, might have developed a cure for cancer. Since 1997, Dr. Katsanis has been developing a vaccine that would help keep cancer in remission. This is a huge breakthrough in the fight against cancer, and the vaccine will soon be available for human clinical trials. Unlike other vaccines, this one would not be given to patients to prevent cancer, but more to keep it away after treatment begins. With doctors taking samples of the cancerous tumors before giving a patient the vaccine, the vaccine will be specific to the patient it is given to, and it will be able to treat almost all forms of cancer if it turns out to be successful. I hope that turns out good because I know there's a thousand, thousands of people that want that vaccine. Absolutely, no doubt. We'll be right back, but stay tuned for your update on Wildcat Sports. <laughs> 